just want to say thanks to everybody of Costa Normand and everybody on here. It is such a fun tradition to be tuning in on Sundays. So thanks everybody for participating. Um, I have a question that that is so interesting to me that I am having like a hard, uh, I don't want to say the word hard, an interesting time giving form to who I am. For example, like when I meet somebody and then they're like, what, what do you do? What, what is this? And the excellent answer to that is when you get that question, from your vast interest in your variety, the very valid question is how much time do you have? If you were to ask that question to someone else, then you will see what are the answers you want to share with them because the eternal part of you, even in your physical experience, is so vast that you can say that you are everything you're giving attention to, everything you've given attention to, and everything you're about or in the future going to give your attention to. That is what you are. You're never just one job. You're never just one role. You're never even just attention for the longer time and one thing. So the valid question is at this moment as I'm speaking to you, I'm focusing mechanism that has so many different interests, how much time do you have? Or if you do not want to offer that time, then you do not want to ask that question because most likely you could speak about that question or give answer for that question for the rest of eternity. It seems like a silly, simple question, but it's actually a very, very integrated eternal question about even your own physical iteration you're now observing from and every other physical iteration because there is so many layers to everything that exists flowing through you so many layers of those which you're excited about and some that you picked up through your focusing that you are leaving behind so to speak or inviting with your attention and then not and inviting with your attention and that not and that necessity for that defining of this and this and this if you at that moment are sensing based off of the conversation what it is you will have that particular answer coming through recently Costa has tried to express the same thing calling it inspirational speaker for the general thing and then sensing how much more excitement there is to hear Costa on this latest trip has been bringing to the attention of a lot of family members and the friends, the work that's been happening here and because of so much excitement and so much ease about it, seeing that how many people resonate with a lot of different things and a lot of different layers that he did not even think before that that will be the case. It felt to him as Armand did this with a couple of first people as he was again coming out as somebody new, as somebody new and then he understood that actually at all times with every visit coming through once there was not so much difference or exchange of attentions that that would be the case the new version of him would come out to the front the new version of him would come out to the front and then so many different versions coming through conversations and discoveries of this was his version in a high school this was his version in a elementary school Armand's curiosity bringing all these vast layers of him that Costa in these conversations is thinking that he has split personality with infinite personalities that are living, that they've lived, that are currently living because every time you shift your attention to something else, you are something else moment by moment by moment. And it's only in your choices of choosing more of the same context that you are operating with that can even define that. But your attention span, your excitement about variety has so much potency that you can be even a doctor in the morning, a lawyer in the afternoon, mother in the evening, and then the next day tennis player, and the next day basketball player, and the next day prima ballerina. So you can choose whatever you want to be moment by moment by moment because these infinite choices in physicality are there for you. These choices for you to be and to choose moment by moment by moment regardless of what is the feedback coming through you. And now we're excited to hear about more specific thing you have going on here. Well, I feel like I have more clarity 
about the awareness of of choice and that that is actually more of the challenge as you're having this awareness in so many different things then you want to see what is the preference for you at this moment as we spoke to a friend between choosing right and another right there is no writer or not writer there is only what you have active at the moment and what gives you the most satisfaction at the moment and the only time you would not go and not narrow it down into some of those interests let's just say that you are a painter and that you are a mother and that you are a wife and that you are also writing books and that you also love to swim and in all of those things that you have if you now want to choose to be focused as mother and as wife and as a writer and then in that moment that does not mean that you never get to experience others but if at this moment you're so really intrigued by being the wife and the mother and the writer at this moment this will be such an easy thing for you to choose it is not about other things not being active there it's not about you missing out on other things because you can always go and do them but at this moment you're so much have so much excitement about being a writer and this book coming together and this experience of writing coming together that you know that the moment that you allow yourself to get certain momentum there you can add this and you can add this and you can add this and you can add this so following what is that excitement that it's really bursting through you and then not allowing yourself to go into comparison not to go into comparison about having to choose or having even some sort of potential discomfort about leaving the other happy things you have because the other happy things are not going anywhere the other happy satisfying things are not going anywhere because if they go then they were not so happy and satisfying to begin with which means that whatever is the most exciting for you at the moment if excitement is about that if you have excitement about something then it will never feel like challenge it feels like challenge only when there is a little bit of discomfort about will all these other satisfying things be around as I narrow down my focus on this particular satisfaction so wanting to narrow so is it maybe that I don't really want to narrow down on something specific it is that you might have discomfort that if you narrow it down some other things will not be exciting for you to play with at some other time that other fun things from moving from one to another from one to another for not so much form that those things will not be there accessible to you and they're always accessible to you, you always have access to all of those it is that something is getting more and more of your attention and then you want to go with it you want to run with it you want to have this experience of seeing you can even take it as a fun thing about the test of how many of those other things that take your attention in not such form stick around as you give attention to something that is really satisfying to you and now taking more and more of the form okay thank you